Hey, welcome back to another video. I want to confess that I actually suffer from really bad allergies, bad hay fever, like pollen just makes me sneeze rapidly. And then you get the sniffles, the runny nose, and it's just annoying. And so this is why during the spring and summertime, um, I have air filters and I have uh, just one when I started out and I had to move this in the different rooms that I am in and I decided to get two. And I saw a lot of these uh, air filters being sold and then they have a very similar design in that it's a drum and it has 360 filtration. The size is really my big thing and how quiet it is. Both air filters can filter 150 cubic meters of air per hour. To me actually is quite effective. Like I haven't sneezed just the same as with that. This by the way is a very effective uh, air filter and their filters are like $20 for it to replace. And these, uh, the filters are not out in the marketplace yet, but I heard it will. And I heard it's gonna be advertised for 20 to 25, uh, which lasts for a year. And the reason why they can make it such a compact size is because they roll it around into a cylinder shape and then they place the fan here. Whereas this one, you have the square filter and then you have to have a big fan to cover that surface area. This one, you could, it's a lot smaller because you could just put the fan here and then it could draw from all angles. Another difference is that this is a DC motor and this is an AC motor. AC motors are a lot more uh, noisy and it's also less efficient than a DC. Um, so you can tell the difference by the plugs. So when you have power adapters, they turn, they turn AC into DC, and then this is the other one, which is just AC direct. So it just gives direct AC current. So when I, I have a power meter here, and when I measured this, this was like 20 at its lowest level, and its highest level is 40. And this one is only five watts, and it, at its highest, it's 11 watts uh, max. So it's very efficient. So let me just turn this on to show you how it works. So this is, uh, it remembers your last setting. So I had this at number two. So this is number three. And this is number one. It's very quiet, isn't it? And if I hold this for a few seconds, it just keeps it at level one. It turns off the LED. So then it goes into sleep mode basically, as in we sleep. So it's really quiet. And what this, this S is the smart sensor. And what it does is you leave it alone, it auto senses the air quality. So green is great, so it keeps it low. If it turns yellow, it goes to the next level, it turns red, then it goes to the next level uh, in terms of fan speed, just to get all the air impurities out. So that's mainly it. This tells you the temperature and the humidity, um, just flips back and forth. So let me just show you the comparison what this is like. So I just bring this closer to be fair uh, in terms of distance. It's level one, level two, level three. It's a lot noisier. The Diki air purifier also releases uh, negative ions. Uh, you can't turn it off and you could smell it actually. It smells like the air when it's raining. The benefits of negative ions you can find on various, you know, papers. And what it does is it clumps uh, dust together very well because uh, it creates static on the dust. They just clump together and they just fall on the floor, which is great. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, just uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.